Tesla a history. To some, they make fancy toys for the elite. Others think they will save the world. Either way, you've surely heard of a company called Tesla. If that doesn't ring a bell, perhaps Elon Musk sounds familiar. It's not a perfume, but a man, and he's going to save the world. How? With Tesla, of course. The Founding Fathers of Tesla Founded in 2003 in San Carlos, California by engineers Mark Everhart and Mark Tarpening, Tesla Incorporated was initially named Tesla Motors after the 19th century inventor Nikola Tesla, best known for inventing the Tesla coil and discovering the rotating magnetic field. Nikola designed alternating current or AC, a form of electrical transmission globally used today. Rival inventor Thomas Edison favored direct current or DC, which is considered less efficient. Nikola Tesla became a pop culture icon among engineers in recent decades. General Motors EV1 In the beginning, Eberhardt served as CEO and Tarpening served as CFO. They launched Tesla to develop and produce an electric car. The inspiration for this was partially based on the favorable test market reactions for GM's EV1, an electric car experiment. Although GM only ran this experiment from 96 to 99 and produced a batch of cars that was never released for public purchase, engineers considered it a success. Eberhardt and Tarpening wanted to build upon that success. Tesla Roadster Initially, Eberhard and Tarpening dreamt of building an entirely electric sports car. In 2006, they unveiled the prototype for their Roadster, which entered production in 2008. With the Roadster, Tesla achieved something that no company ever had. They produced a fully electric car with practical specifications that would meet consumer needs. Previous experiments in this field had failed because companies struggled to produce a battery powerful enough to keep cars on the road, and a cost-effective motor that could fit inside a consumer vehicle and reach highway speeds. The Roadster was the solution. The first model produced in 2008 could travel roughly 250 miles on a single battery, with acceleration and max speed comparable to available consumer sports cars. The Roadster used a standard lithium-ion battery structure common in many electronic devices and customers could recharge the car in a standard wall outlet. However, this did not make the Roadster a viable consumer product. At its release, the car cost a little over $100,000, pricing most consumers out of the market. Further, the company immediately ran into the problem of charging time. The original Roadster required between 24 and 48 hours to recharge on a standard home outlet. Charge time remains one of the biggest problems with electric cars. While the company has dramatically improved its technology, it takes more than an hour to recharge these vehicles under ideal conditions. This puts them at a dramatic disadvantage to the mere minutes it takes to refill a car with gasoline. Leadership during 2008, Tesla made significant changes to its leadership team. In 2007, Eberhard resigned as CEO but remained a member of its advisory board. Michael Marks, an investor, temporarily replaced Eberhard as CEO. Z.F. Drury took over as Eberhard's permanent replacement in November. We often credit Drury with turning the Roadster from a prototype into a viable product. When he took over in 2007, the project had lagged, and much of the reporting focused on whether the company could deliver its flagship product. Drury oversaw the successful launch of the Roadster in 2008. However, shortly before shipping began for the Roadster, co-founders Eberhard and Tarpening left the company completely. In October 2008, Musk took over as CEO of the company and fired a quarter of its staff. Controversy Eberhard and Tarpening alleged that they were forced out of the company they founded, and in 2009 Eberhard sued Tesla and Musk for libel and slander. He alleged they had forced him out of the company. In addition, Eberhard stated he was unfairly blamed for the delays and financial problems associated with the Roadster. He dropped the suit later that same year. Hardships 
Tesla had less than $10 million in cash on hand, significantly less than it needed to deliver on cars it had already sold. In May 2009, Daimler AG bought a 10% stake in the company for $50 million. A subsequent $465 million loan from the Department of Energy in June gave the company the working capital needed to survive. That August, the company moved headquarters to Palo Alto. The company found a more stable solution for its concerns when it went public in 2010. Opening on NASDAQ at $17 a share, the company raised $226 million in its initial public offering, IPO. In 2008, it also announced its first attempt to bring down the cost of its products, the Model S sedan, which would retail for $76,000, a fraction of the Roadster price. Tesla Model S The modern image of Tesla began in 2011 when the company presented its prototype of the Model S. While still a luxury sedan, this vehicle was the first step towards the mainstream consumer market and it was critically successful. The Model S received awards from several automotive and environmental publications and set new standards for what an electric vehicle could achieve. Among other advances, this vehicle had a range of up to 300 miles and a reduced charge time. Superchargers in 2012, Tesla also opened six freestanding charging stations called Superchargers in California and has expanded operations to over a thousand worldwide to date. These stations offer free charging to Tesla owners and are faster than a standard wall outlet. Gigafactory In 2014, the company announced its Gigafactory in Nevada. Batteries are manufactured at this facility and the Gigafactory is crucial to the entire business model. Product Expansion In 2015, the company announced a new line of solar energy battery hybrid products for homes and businesses. Musk has said he would like the company to become an energy solution across many sectors eventually. The Model 3 In 2016, Tesla announced its Model 3 sedan. This would be the company's first car under $70,000 and targeted at a mainstream market. An overambitious Musk announced the company would deliver up to 200,000 vehicles in the second half of 2017, four times more than it produced. While known for making sweeping public statements, this was the beginning of several online posts that would get Musk and the company in trouble. Financial and Legal Troubles in 2018, missed projections led investors to dump the company's stock. In the middle of 2017, it lost over 5% of its value in a collapse worth $12 billion. By January of 2018, Tesla was producing Model 3 sedans at a fraction of its expected rate. Over three months, the company finished and shipped a mere 2,400 cars after promising consumers and investors that it could complete over 5,000 per week. Tesla claimed that many of these problems came from its overseas supply chain. However, production issues paled in comparison to the legal troubles Musk would create later that year on Twitter. On August 7, Musk tweeted that he planned to take the company private at $420 and had secured funding to buy back Tesla's shares. This resulted in a round of trading elevating the company's stock price by 10% before being halted. It has never gone private to date. In September, the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, charged Musk with securities fraud based on his tweet alleging he had released misleading information that drove up the company's stock price. Despite rejecting the SEC's first offer of settlement, Tesla and Musk eventually accepted terms. Though still CEO, Musk was replaced as chairman of the board by Robin Denholm, a fellow board member. In February of 2019, the SEC moved for contempt after Musk published a tweet regarding production capacities. This prompted an amendment to the original settlement, which now requires active oversight of Musk's Twitter account by the company's attorneys. Timeline of Events 2003 – Tesla Motors is founded by Martin Eberhardt and Mark Tarpening in San Carlos, California. They serve as its CEO and CFO, respectively. 2004 
Elon Musk invests $30 million and joins Tesla as the chairman of the board of directors. 2006. Tesla showcases prototype of its first all-electric car, the Roadster. 2007. Eberhardt resigns as CEO and is replaced by CEO Michael Marks. Ziev Drory takes over as Tesla's permanent CEO. 2008. The Roadster enters production, with Elon Musk receiving the first vehicle. Ziev Drory resigns as Tesla's CEO. He is replaced by Elon Musk, who remains CEO to this day. Tesla announces its plans for the Model S sedan. 2009. Eberhardt sues Tesla and Musk, alleging he was forced out of the company and that Musk has taken credit for creating a company that Eberhardt and Tarpening built. He drops the suit later that year. Facing financial troubles, Tesla seeks an investment from Daimler AG and a loan from the Department of Energy. Tesla relocates its headquarters to Palo Alto, where it remains to this day. 2010. Tesla raises $226 million in its initial public offering. 2011. Tesla unveils the prototype for the Model S, the company's first sedan. 2012. The Model S sedan goes into full-time production. Production of the Roadster is discontinued. Six supercharger charging stations are launched in California. 2013. Tesla posts its first quarterly profit. 2014. Tesla announces its Nevada Gigafactory, where the company will manufacture batteries for all of its products. It is one of the largest buildings in the world. 2015. The company enters the solar power market, announcing a line of products for homes and businesses based on a solar panel battery hybrid. 2016. Tesla announces plans for the Model 3 sedan, its first car targeted towards a broader market. 2017. Tesla Motors changes its name to Tesla Incorporated. 2018. Tesla misses quarterly projections for the Model 3. Musk announces on Twitter he plans to privatize the company at $420 per share and that he has already secured the funds to do so. He never privatizes the company. The SEC charges Musk with securities fraud. Musk and Tesla accept a settlement from the SEC. Musk pays $20 million and steps down as the chairman of Tesla's board of directors. Tesla also pays $20 million and agrees to oversee Elon's Twitter account. The Department of Justice begins their investigation into whether Tesla defrauded investors about its Model 3 production capacity. 2019. Musk and Tesla unveil the Cybertruck, an electric six-seater pickup truck. Musk claims Tesla has gotten 250,000 orders for the Cybertruck. 2020. Following a strong fiscal quarter and analyst upgrades, Tesla stock reaches over $900. Tesla Stock For a while, 2019 had not been kind to Tesla stock. Opening at $310.12 on January 1 and reaching a high of $347.31, Tesla's stock price subsequently plummeted. It reached a low of $178.97 in June. The company lost several significant members of its executive team, including its CTO, J.B. Straubel, CFO, Deepak Ahuja, and General Counsel, Dane Batswinkas. In 2019, Tesla laid off 7% of its employees and publicly voiced the possibility of closing most of its dealerships and laying off retail employees in March. Some analysts believe that the company has a pattern of cultural, leadership, and technical problems that will cause more serious issues in the long run. Others believe that the stock's decline reflects an overreaction by the market to short-term news, which has priced the company based more on Elon Musk's Twitter account than its actual value. Tesla's stock began rebounding in the second half of 2019. After spending several months over $200, reports of stronger-than-expected Q3 earnings sent the stock price surging. Share prices continued to rise through the rest of 2019 as things went well for the company, closing out the year at over $418 per share. That momentum got even stronger in 2020. By February 4, Tesla had surpassed a stock price of $900, more than double its price at year's start just one month prior.